Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available in Amazon right now. Hi guys, I'm Ranger Rob and this is my wife, Sherry. I really go by Rob, so it's Rob and Sherry. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Central Oregon living in Homestead, at least trying to be a homestead, <laughs> kinda. A modern homestead. Modern. Modern. And uh, today is a special day. Uh, actually, it's tomorrow, but today's not windy, so it was a great time to come outside in front of the pond. And uh, we've been talking a lot about uh, our families, uh, having a death in the family, uh, taking over our house, doing a lot of work. But um, I get a lot of questions about where's Sherry? <laughs> if I'm doing something, or how come Sherry's not helping you? And it's like, I'm trying to tell people, Sherry's got her own projects. <laughs> like, what's your projects you're working on here? Uh, the gardens right now. Yeah. So since we bought this place from my parents, um, there's just, uh, they've got an absolutely beautiful piece of property here, but a lot of the gardens needed to be redone because they've gotten overgrown so while Rob's been off doing his thing I've been kind of off working on the gardens getting them cleaned up and I get to play with the big toys yeah <laughs> so what we wanted to talk about today is today we're going to just say today but it's actually tomorrow but is our 40th anniversary 40 years yeah it's a yeah. long time long time jeez <laughs> And what's kind of funny is we really met when we were seven years old uh, in, in square dancing. And yes, for those of you who really know me from way back, I used to be a square dance caller. Uh, but before that, we were just in square dancing. This is back in the 70s and 80s. And uh, we actually met in square dancing at um, uh, seven years old. And we clicked ever since. And our parents clicked. My mom used to call her mom <laughs> and set up dates for us. In fact, our first movie I took her to was Davy Crockett. Yeah. <laughs> it was at a elementary school. We uh, yeah, maybe cost a buck or whatever. And, uh, but yeah, it was pretty romantic. I oh thought. yeah. <laughs> and she came to a lot of my birthdays and stuff like that. Yeah. And yes, we have wind, and so there's going to be wind in this. But it was we're sitting in front of our pond, and it's kind of nice. And so I, I hope and shady, and the lighting is pretty good. But anyway, so 40 years, um, so a lot of people would probably say, what's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> what's your secret? Uh, commitment. Commitment? Yeah. That's it? No, there's a lot of things. A, it's there's because I'm a hunk of burning love. <laughs> and just like me too, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what's the... <laughs> What? You'll edit that part, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's the best part. So, com commitments one. So, your turn. Uh, um, soulmate. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny because she's anal attentive and I'm visionary. They go together great. <laughs> <laughs> Got the dog in the background. That's all right. <laughs> that's, that's our puppy. That's Cinder back there. Anyway, so you're in a attentive. <laughs> I'm a, I'm visionary, and it works out great because I'll get these brilliant ideas, <laughs> and I rein them back in. <laughs> <laughs> yep, big time. So it's been that way all of our lives. Uh, I've been a real go-getter, move forward. If it wasn't business, it's other things. And so there's a lot of times it needs to be like, oh wait a minute, you need to think this through a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but so a lot of that. So I have to say. Uh, it feels like we're soulmates. Yeah. I mean, it's like we, uh, I mean, way back to even seven, seven years old, there's just something, you know, it's like when I saw you, it was like this glowing light. <laughs> the sad thing about this whole thing is back to seven years old, you know, that seems like, wow, that's really cool. The thing is, I remember what he was wearing the very first time I saw him. And he can tell me what I was wearing too, and I remember what I was wearing as well, which is pretty sad because it's been, what, 52, 53 years? Uh, yeah. So we've been through 
a lot. We've been through lots of hardships. Yeah. Um, we've had two wonderful kids. Kids we did everything with. And all of them came out great, mm -hmm. educated, and uh, uh, no worries kind of yep. thing. Very we proud of them. Very proud of our kids. Um, it's kind of funny when you get this age, you go, how many houses did, have we owned? Do you remember what we came up with? It was like 11? It's been a few. Yeah, so like 11 houses we've been through. How many cars have we been through? A lot. <laughs> a lot of cars. How many pets? A lot. A lot of so sad. I mean, when you're our age, you've seen so many cycles of so. I need to have a talk with God about letting dogs live longer. Yeah. We've had wonderful dogs through our lives, and uh, we got wonderful dogs now. But you know, it's always like a 10 to 15 year cycle. Yeah. It's so sad. So you got all these different milestones with different dogs and cats and stuff like that. But it's kind of interesting when you get our age. We're not in our 60s yet, so just remember that. Really close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Very um, close. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we've been from, got our first house in 82, was it? No. 1982? Tracy was born in 82, so it was 83, I think. Yeah, so since 83, we've had houses. We've downsized, upsized, sidesized. We've been through recessions, through financial problems. We've had our own businesses. We still do. Um, Sherry's been more the stable working person to support my crazy visionary lifestyle. We've been through, I used to own a kite store. I used to own an annexation business. I had a web design business, marketing. Um, and the same time in a corporation where I went through the ranks and did lots of night school, supported me through all that. And, uh, uh, some things we team up on and other things we give each other space. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's quite a history, <laughs> a lot of history. And uh, uh, like the square dancing when we called for children, a lot of those kids now are in their 40s and 50s and they mm -hmm. contact us now and I still picture them as, I know. <laughs> as the size they were. And I see the picture going, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy. So what would you tell others that might help with their marriages. Not that, not that we're experts. No. You're going to have your ups and downs. Yeah. Um, compromise. Um, she has to compromise. I don't. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um, wear, wear good hats. I don't wear hats. She's Except all mad. Today. It's like, she just got done working in her garden, which is gorgeous. And it's like, what? You gonna do it now? Do the video now? It's like, yeah, this is us. And so I, uh, <laughs> you put a hat on. <laughs> yeah, my hair is completely wet. <laughs> so. So as we kind of gone through the things, we've kind of, we've learned about economy. We've learned about money. We've mishandled money handled and didn't manage it well, done things right, done things wrong. We've gotten, we've kind of learned our lessons on things. One thing that's been a common throughout our time though is during the hard times, we pull together and not pull apart. Yeah. And I think that is huge because when you're in some of those hard, rough times and everybody has them, it's really easy to pull apart and we've kind of done the opposite. That's when we really lean real heavily on each other and have the support for each other. Yeah, so that's been big. And I get a kick out, like when we talk to people who've known us for a long time and they remember we had some hard times. We're talking some hard times. And I'm not gonna go into detail, but, but everybody always thinks that we've been on top of the world. Yeah. And we haven't. Um, it's just when we get down and we get beat up and we're pushed in the corner instead of just woe is me we we fight we fight back fiercely to get out of whatever you know if we've made a mistake it's like we need to fix this we don't expect other people to help us and uh we we dig in uh, like the recession when we got our butts kicked in 2008 uh we lost a lot of things and 
I had to go back to nine to five work. I, we all buckled down. We really saved money, fixed a lot of things, and really, I mean, we just know well, we how don't, to. We don't let the hard times define us. Uh -uh. We just kind of um, take the bull by the horn and say, okay, this, we're in a crappy situation. Let's get out of it somehow and just keep, put your head down and just focus on what needs to be done. Yeah. But I just get a kick out of it. A lot of people don't think what we've had. Sorry about the wind. Here it goes. It is Central Oregon. It's not, this is how it is. So, uh, I just get a kick out. A lot of people think we've always been on top of, of the world and we've never been beat up. But we just hunker down and, and look forward and we've always had God in our life. And we uh, work hard and before you know it, we get things straightened out. And uh, which brings us to where we are today. Um, it's been like a full circle, kind of. We started out kind of redneckish. <laughs> then we got a little more city slickish. And then we actually thought we'd never be back in this kind of lifestyle again. Because we really, we lived quite a five acres before. We had a bird, game bird mm -hmm. farm, the whole works. And we kind of like, well, I think those days are over. And here we are. Here we are again. <laughs> it's like we never thought we'd be back in Central Oregon. And no. we never thought we'd be taking care of five acres. Never thought we'd have birds again. We get chickens. We're not going to have the game birds like we did. Maybe some chucker uh, in the future. Oh, and uh, so I dropped my lid. Um, anyway, so now we've kind of settled in. We've got the place purchased it's uh, all uh, all ours now and the whole works and how are you feeling about all of this how do you like this place oh I love this place I mean there's such a huge amount of history behind it lots of good memories and as I said you know mom and dad put so much effort in into building what they had here and I just really feel like that we can take what they built and just add on to it and just continue to make it even more special. Yeah, because uh, we had five acres here before, which was on the same area. So throughout the years, we helped with a lot of projects here or um, got involved in some of it or he helped with our projects. So we kind of know all the ins and outs of this house and property because we participated in it or observed it being upgraded as he did it. Oh, they did it and uh, so it felt really natural to come over here because like oh I remember when he was putting the water system in and he was trenching through here and why he did this and why he did that and uh, so it's been uh, not only cool because it's been her family uh, uh, family house well you didn't grow up here but your parents uh, had this place for about 20 years and uh, 23, years. 23 years so we both have a bond to it because of the area and the fact we participated in some of the things here so it didn't feel that hard to merge into this we thought we'd feel really uncomfortable and be ghosts and all this <laughs> turns out to be a wonderful experience and we well what surprises me is growing up as a kid I absolutely hated working outside, doing weeding, gardens, that kind of stuff. And we did that. That was just one of the chores we did. And I just dreaded it. Never cared to work outside. I like going outside and sitting, but not to work. And somewhere in the last five years, it's like, wow, I'm, all of a sudden I became my mom. <laughs> we became our parents. <laughs> and I'm actually really enjoying working outside, working in the gardens. And just seeing what I thought I never could do before, which is grow any type of plant. Yeah. Just seeing stuff thrive, you know, it, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been a lot of, but when we did this again before 15 years ago or so, or whatever, um, we've noticed we've gotten older, and so not quite as easy. No, it's not <laughs> as easy. <laughs> um, but it's actually been, I feel like we're, getting our health back a little bit yeah um, it feels healthier we got sore muscles every day we sleep 
pretty good. Um, we both have kind of been concerned about the economy and the world a little bit. And uh, not to be in a panic mode, but uh, one of the things we've been learning is being prepared and taking our wiser, older life and saying, well, remember back in the 80s when something like this happened? Or remember in the you know, 90s when something like this happened? And then actually taking steps to be a little more prepared, even if we don't end up using what we prepared for. Um, I don't think we were that good at it in our earlier years. Well, we had other things we were more yeah. focused on. Had <laughs> kids, mm -hmm. careers, all that stuff. So, uh, so all of a sudden, 40 years comes along and it's like, in fact, it was like yesterday, you go, oh, by the way, our anniversary's coming up. <laughs> it's like, you kind of know it, and at the same time, you kind of like, oh, yeah. And so then we go, well, what are we going to do special for 40? 40 special. In fact, isn't there like a symbol for 40? Like, there is for every year, but yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> or some metal or something. In the comments, let us know, guys. Um, in our case, it was a new uh, rototiller. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! We've done crazier things, like for birthdays, I'd get her fishing poles and things like that. So we've never been real traditional, but we haven't been real... We're not really blingy kind of people. We're pretty simple. Yeah, we... Throughout our lives, I mean, I, I love the uh, gotten her diamonds and pearls and all that stuff, but... Um, You've always been more of like, give me a good left-handed fishing pole or mm -hmm. fishing reel. And uh, so we haven't been a real material, we've had material things and we like material things, but we haven't been really personally materialistic as far as like gold and silver and watches and mm -hmm. things like that. Not that that's bad or anything, it's just never been our cup of tea. It's not our style. Jewelry's not mine anyway. Yeah, thank goodness. Or shopping. Yeah. We both hate to shop. Hate to shop. We're the kind of people that go shopping. We go right in, straight to what we want, grab it, maybe once in a while look around, and get the heck out of the store. And of course with COVID, we can't stand those masks, so we want to get the hell out of the stores always really fast. So, uh, we got married at age 19. Which in these day and age, I understand that's really young. But we were brought up differently. I mean, our parents wanted us out the door. They expected us out the door at 18. And that was his life. And we though. were. Yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we didn't get married because of an oops or anything. We didn't have our first child till we were 21. Um, but, uh, boy, age 19, you look at the folks now. What, what are some of the things that you think is the best advice to give a couple this day and age to have a, 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 a one-time marriage for life. Here again, you got to understand that when you're getting getting married, you're making a commitment for life. And you got to be willing to put the effort in for that lifetime. And so once you get married, it's no longer you and me. It's always us. Us. We, and we always describe it as we became one. Yes. I mean, that goes for finances, our checkbook, everything. Our, everything is us. It isn't... I mean, we have... Like, we'll say, well, that's my truck and that's her car. But it's both of ours. But we do have those little things that we call hers and his. Um, but not in a possessive way. No. Um... Because it's always fun to have something that's kind of yours and kind of mine, but it's not. It isn't like, oh, I've got the big sports car or something like that, and nobody touches it, and you can't drive it. It's like we've never been like that, really. Um, if I, and I will say that every relationship uh, works differently. Yeah. So what works for us may not work for the next person. Um, you know, we just happen to be ones where we both have some of the same deep down values. And uh, we do have that commitment. Uh, I don't know how it looks to put it. Yeah. 
And when it came to having kids, uh, we're kind of a leave it the beaver family, but we're you're working, so we're a career family. Like, honey, I'm home thing. It was both like we both walk in the door, honey, we're both home. <laughs> and we, we used to have a nanny. The light is really bad. Um, and uh, yeah, our, our lighting's getting a little funny. I can adjust that uh, in a little bit here. Uh, let me uh, make an adjustment and we'll come back on. All right, we're back. We probably our lighting kind of got changed a little bit when the sun moved, but um, I can adjust it when, when we edit it. So anyway, uh, so now that we're getting closer to, I guess what they would call retirement age. Um, things look a little bit different. Where you kind of like, all right, um, every day is kind of precious. Mm -hmm. Every day we don't know what could happen to either one of us. Um, so when I wake up in the morning, it's like, thank you, God. <laughs> I get another day. Well, we're still healthy. Yeah. So, um, but it still is one of those things that we've always been very active. Um, we do things together, always have done stuff together um, since we were married. So it's having the united common interest has always helped and we definitely don't i mean we're not uh, super sports or anything like that but we are not couch potatoes either no we didn't there is no such thing as sitting on the couch watching football in our house no um not that we don't like football once in a while seahawks um but yeah i I'm, uh, and I, I don't find myself to be, I'm going out with the guys kind of thing. No. Um, maybe in, when I was younger, we used to go hunting trips and stuff a little bit. But eventually I found out it was funner to go hunting when I took you. <laughs> Not that I hunt, hunted, because I never did. But yeah. I did like going just to for the camping and for the outdoorsness. Yeah. And we did that with our kids too. In, in, instead of making our kids be like an obstacle to things that we want to do, we either stop doing the things that they couldn't participate in, and the things that we did, could do that they could participate in, we made an emphasis of, let's take them fishing, yes, we'll have to do it differently, let's go hunting, we'll do that differently. Um, and it was actually, we tried to do it the way we did before we had kids, and it was, we found it to be much more, a lot more fun to do stuff together as a family, modified yeah um yeah when we went hunting she didn't carry a gun or, or do anything she loved to go hiking she put on the orange and be like a hunter but she doesn't carry a gun and uh she did it her way i did it my way and it was great um same thing with the kids when we went camping and hiking and fishing we just we bought a boat that the kids could be in and be warm and cozy and stay in their jammies and and uh they didn't necessarily fish, they'd be down in the cabin playing with stamps and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we just always made family uh, part of our lives all the time, even our activities. It was really rare for us to leave the kids behind. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, then it was a real shocker when they all got old and moved yeah. out. That so was tough for us. It was. Uh, I mean, that was a, one of the tough transitions that we had to go through. I would say that was probably one of the, the toughest. It took a good five, six years to kind of get back in a mode of it was just her and I. Uh, so the empty nest syndrome was probably one of our toughest switch switchovers. Yeah. Um, but then we hit our 40s or later 40s and we discovered traveling. <laughs> <laughs> and so that really pulled us out of that. Yeah. Um, and so we, we had, if you look back in our older videos, you'll see that we did a lot of RV travel, a lot of RV travel videos, stuff like that. And that was wonderful, brought us together, kind of changed our outlook on life, changed the whole pace of everything. It made us more adventurous. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that's a good thing I'd say about traveling is this, you can't predict travel and what can happen. And so it changes you to kind of be able to shoot from the hip a little bit. Mm -hmm. So when change or emergencies come up and stuff, we seem to handle it pretty good. Yeah. I mean, just in life in general, you got to always be 
willing to compromise and just because you go down one path doesn't mean you're going to stay on that path. Uh, you may have to adjust it a little bit because that's what nature does to us. Another subject that's come up in our marriage that once again has tested it is I lost my parents early. Um, so, uh, and then there, both of them, well, one was I was really young, and two was the other one was sudden. And so uh, then her father passed away, and, and that was fairly sudden too. But now we're caregivers. And so her mother is um, not uh, as mobile, very mobile at all, and definitely has dependency uh, on uh, having needing support and medications and stuff and so she's in assisted living and so our other goal here is we have the house that they used to own but we also do the caregiving for a mother and that's a whole nother I don't know how to describe it a whole new responsibility that puts the pressure on your fa on your marriage uh, it's no longer me and Sherry. A lot of times it's me and Sherry and what about mom? Which is okay. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, everything we do or if we leave to go, if we tried to do a vacation, which we haven't for a long time. Um, um, you plan ahead just like, just like you do when kids. you had kids. Yeah. And... Uh, Yeah, I was. It's like um, it was a shock because we actually never thought about being caregivers, mm -hmm. and in a matter of a week's time, we realized we are now the caregivers, and that changed everything. And it was hard. That was a a challenge in the marriage, um, but then you got to kind of put it in perspective. Is like, first of all, we're not alone. Mm -hmm. We're not the only ones that yeah. have have this issue. So. It's always good to find a support group or learning more about it and talking to others. And you'll find that every other person is actually in the same scenario. A lot mm -hmm. of them are taking care of their mom or dad. And uh, uh, and, it, and and there's problems that go along with that. And so uh, I guess that would be the, our latest cha challenge, not to mention trying to get up here and get established in a, you know three states away. Um, Still, during COVID. <laughs> during COVID. Oh my gosh. So caregiving is even harder with the COVID. And so uh, another challenge. And I guess there will always be other challenges and stuff. But uh, um, So don't think that, oh, because we're older, you don't have new challenges. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> it, it constantly happens. So uh, any other advice you put out there? What about you? You keep asking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, if you find your soulmate, uh, and you got, if you're kind of energetic, crazy guy, guys, guys are idiots sometimes, I know. Um, you got to keep reminding yourself, like, um, how much support your wife gives you for the things you do. I can have, I've had throughout my life, all kinds of wonderful dreams and ideas, and, and I got to do them because I have a supporting wife. Um, you can't do it alone. Uh, if you're gonna start a business or do, buy a boat or you're gonna do some career change, you cannot do it without supporting your family. And, uh, you know, obviously you're uh, the high command. <laughs> um, if she's not supporting it or your family's not supporting it, uh, is it worthwhile in the first place? But I've always appreciated the fact that I've gotten the support of good and bad ideas and uh, and been allowed to learn lessons learned. Um, I, I just don't take that for granted. That's what I guess I'm trying to say is is if you got a supporting spouse, whether it's husband or wife, you got to realize that's huge. That's really huge. But don't forget to support them. And their, uh, her hopes and dreams and things that she wants to do are, are a lot different than mine sometimes. And so I need to also learn to be humble and, and understanding that she, uh, she may like working the beds, 
I like renting a tractor. And it's like, why is she out here helping me with the tractor? And she's probably over there like, she's not. because um, Why isn't he over here trying to help with the garden? We just understand and support each other in their own ways. And, and then when it gets hard on one side or the other, we help each other. Anyway, compromise, I guess is a big word mm -hmm. for us. Um, so one other piece of advice I would say is don't forget to laugh. <laughs> Yeah, we do a lot of that. Is laugh at the funny things, laugh at the serious things. Um, we still do dumb stuff that we've done since we were kids. Yeah. And people don't understand it, and they don't need to understand it. But it's they could be little jokes just between Rob and I, and take time to laugh. So that's one thing I can say is you laugh a lot. Um, you know, we're very serious when we need to be in, but we can also know how to have fun and play and Yeah, our kids, our kids sometimes will go, our parents will talk about anything. Yeah, we will. <laughs> um, and having us faith in our family is helpful too. We've been through so many trials and tribulations that if you don't, it must be sad to, to not know or feel that there's someone there that's there for you all the time. And uh, having faith has, has always been, we've had it our entire lives. Uh, it's gotten stronger over a period of time and we're understanding it more, but um, I, I think having a faith, even though we don't make a big deal about it, maybe we should, um, but it's always in the back of our mind and we don't push it on one another but we've always had something higher up that we believed in and, and felt like we had someone to talk to. Because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when we're bickering or whatever, sometimes you just go in the other room and go, God, <laughs> am I making a mistake here? Can you kind of clear my head a little? Um, and then being grateful for, being grateful, that's probably the big thing I'd pass on is be happy for what you got. If you just have a, a little apartment and a little, uh, you know, 25-year-old car that backfires all the time. But it's yours. It's your car. Be grateful you have one because I can guarantee you there's someone out there that's having harder times than you are. And so taking the time to be grateful for what you have, um, no matter what stage you're in, because we've been on our lips. <laughs> we've been wiped out. And... We still found things to be happy about and grateful for. And when that happens, it seems like things come back. Things get better um, by being grateful in the first place. Mm -hmm. It does help. So, uh, anything else I missed? Is there something I should have said? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is a question for you. Okay. Would you do it all over again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, there isn't a thing I'd change. I mean, I wish I some decisions that we made through our lives we could have changed. I wish I would have bought Microsoft when that, they're in a garage. I mean, but... <laughs> yeah, I'd do it again because it's like... I have never... I, I, it's like, I, you probably picture like, what happens if Sherry's gone? I'd just be like a, a fish out of water flopping. Um, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Um, she, you'd probably party. <laughs> you'd be a wild and crazy grandma no. out there going on cruise trips all the time. But uh, I'd just be sitting around going, what am I going to do? I don't want anybody to keep me straight. But, uh, anyway, it's, uh, uh, yes, I would do it again. Definitely. It was a good, I mean, it's a good ride. It's still a good ride. Um, and Lord knows how long it'll last. It could go for another 30, 40 years. Could you imagine? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> we, could have, we could have speed walker races. <laughs> that may be next year. <laughs> I know. Um, how about you? Would you do it again? Of course. <laughs> We've been, we have done a lot in our lifetime. I know. It's amazing. We've you done know, a lot in the last three months. Just, you know, thinking about all of our different accomplishments and good bad and stuff we have done a heck of a lot and 
there's some things I am super proud of. Probably my number one at the top of the list is our children. Yeah, good kids. They're good kids. Um, so yeah, it's like, I'm very grateful for all of the opportunities we've had to do all the, the fishing, the boating, the square dancing, ballroom dancing, everything we've done in our life, you know, so yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we, uh, we've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we still are. And, uh, uh, and we, now our next thing is obviously kind of homesteading, getting a little more self-reliant. Um, and so we're looking forward to that. Um, and it's been fun. Um, and it's kind of, kind of a cool challenge. Like, can you, whether there's a problem or any, or stuff, but, if our power was to go out for a while, could we do it? Would we be all right? That's kind of a cool feeling if you could. Oh, yeah. You know, and if some reason we can get uh, water was hard to get or something, could we somehow sustain ourselves a little bit? That's kind of a cool challenge. And uh, uh, so that's been like something comprehensible that we could do at this age, being uh, just trying to be more self-reliant. And uh, so we. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the channel and all the funny things that go on here. And uh, there will be a lot of mistakes because we're just learning. Don't, the other thing in this whole channel is, is if everybody thinks we're experts at anything, <laughs> we are learning as much as you are. So if you have to fix a door and never done it before, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube. If you have to fix something on your truck, YouTube. YouTube. And if you need to build a chicken coop, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, so uh, hopefully our YouTube channel uh, will help you kind of be motivated to try and don't be afraid that you don't know how to do it. It takes some of the fear away knowing that uh, you're not the only person going through some of these, oh my gosh, what am <laughs> I going to do now? It's like today's video, you were working, she's got this little electric, what is it, a cultivator? Yeah. And it was old, and it was sitting in the garage, and we'd be like, I wonder if it works. And I was doing a video, and you probably saw the video already, or you'll see the video. And I come walking around, and she's just plugging it in, and it is going up in smoke. <laughs> it's had like, to try. It was like perfect timing. It was like, I mean, I mean literally smoke just burned out of that thing. I had to put it back together, so it wasn't even together, so I had to reassemble it. Put it back together. The fact that it even turned on, I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it burned up. <laughs> Smelled terrible. That was funny, but oh my gosh. So we're learning, making mistakes, being shocked, and just going forward. And, and it's like, okay, well, like we broke a door the other day. How in the heck you never fixed the door? Some people go, it's a door. We all worried about. It's a door. I never fixed the door. We never put a chicken coop together like we have yeah. and so we just kind of learned as we go so I hope that's a good inspiration to you guys if you're thinking about getting out of the city trying to kind of get away from the craziness and that's kind of what we're doing how the future is going to look we're going to just go with it and do our best we're, we're going to try to utilize our property here and just to be more self-reliant and let it not only be our inspiration for our gardens and stuff, but it's also now become our entertainment. Yeah. Definitely. So instead of going out anymore, it's like, well, what do you want to do? And it's like, well, well let's like, go to Home Depot. <laughs> I want to kind of do this in the yard or I want to do that. And so it's actually kind of become our entertainment as well. Yeah. Another thing that's been really fortunate in our relationship, we've really never dealt with any addiction problems and stuff. Except I used to smoke, and I still vape, and you like Coca-Cola. I drink Coca-Cola. But uh, uh, we're very fortunate that we never had that. We know some families have gone through that, and uh, so uh, our hearts go out to them. But that was probably one thing that's been I'm grateful for that we never got uh, a problem like that in our family. Um, so I know that there's 
everybody's situation is different and we always uh, pray for everybody out there that has hardship, caregiving, um, addictions, um, law issues or things like that, um, divorces, the whole works. We understand and no one's going to, not everybody has this kind of fairy tale thing that we have, but uh, we Just hope that we can hang inspire. Kind in there. Yeah. We haven't always had... We've had our challenges too, so just hang in there and just really move forward. It's like, think of the good things in life. Yeah. Oh, the other thing I was going to bring up is as you get older, it doesn't mean that you're set in your ways. There's things you've got to change. Like, mine has been, oh, I'm kind of, when she's working and I'm home, uh, I realize that I really need to step up and start cooking more and things like that. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks. And so don't think that because you're getting older or someone is getting older that they can't change or change their perspective on things a little bit. Uh, even at our age, um, the relationship's got to change sometimes. She may be going back to work. That means that I should make sure and uh, take care. I don't, who wants to go to work and then have to go cook when I'm home all day because um, I'm retired? Um, I still got a business to run, but it doesn't take my whole day. Um, I can cook and I can do a few more things and actually do dishes more and things like that and um, I'm kind of not as good as it, uh, it was when you were working <laughs> and I realize that but uh, um, but when she goes back to work or, or whatever turns up in the future uh, I know that I need to adapt uh, to make her life easier because um, so I just want to put the message out there is be prepared to make changes in your life and try to stand in other people's, sh you know, your wife's shoes or husband's shoes um, to help make it through each day. So, and you got to have dogs in your life because they make you laugh. Yes, they do. So, anything else you want to add? No, they probably can't see as much as <laughs> well, <laughs> It's, it's dark. getting dark. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching the channel. I hope we're an inspiration to you. We have a lot to learn. We're still learning more. Uh, please leave your comments below um, and uh, tell us your stories. We'd love to hear them. Uh, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, and I am around. I, ju <laughs> I just stay in the background. Yeah, she is. I'm going to try to get her in more of the videos. And it would be cool to do live streams when we're organized. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've ever been organized. Well, right now we have no studio, no thing, and, and uh, our internet. When you're out there, Thule's like we are. Internet's kind of weird. We think we got a fairly good internet to handle all what we're doing, but it would be do fun as the channel's building up and it is growing. Thanks to you guys uh, to do some live streams of uh, um, questions and answers, especially if you've been watching a series of videos. Some people have been asking us about water, our fuel, some of the things we're doing. Um, it'd be kind of fun to do an interactive thing. So uh, we'll try to do that in the future. And uh, it's not her biggest cup of tea, but um, we all adapt. <laughs> <laughs> so, Compromise, remember that. <laughs> Compromise, that's right. So anyway, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll be doing a video like this in, um, what, 10 more years? The, the, big, the big 50? Oh, I thought it was every 40 years. Every 40 years. Yeah, so 40 <laughs> years from now. Um, you might see me again. You might see us again. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.